Hi everyone, my name is Andy K. Season. I'm from Calgary, Alberta, Canada. I'm 19 years old and I'm in my second year of my bachelor's in music degree in music performance and I play the tuba. I think the greatest challenge during this pandemic is not being able to perform with other people. I love chamber music, it's my passion. And not being able to be in the same space with other musicians has been really challenging. We lose that genuine connection of making music with each other. I also miss performing live. Performing through Zoom still gives me adrenaline, but it's not the same experience as walking onto the stage, feeling the stage lights and looking onto the audience. It's quite sad, I miss it a lot. In June, I attended Domaine Forge, and it was amazing to work with Orstein Bodsvig, Carol Yanch, and Chris Lee. After playing the masterclass for Orstein, he told me something that really touched me. He said that I am a good tuba player, but I just have to realize that I am one and not allow myself to make unnecessary mistakes. He said it's convenient for me to look at myself at a lower level, but he told me that I am better than I think I am. He said I have to put myself at higher obligations to elevate my playing, but more importantly, to believe in myself more and tell myself that, yes, I am capable of doing this. I joined the Calgary Youth Orchestra in 2017 completely underprepared for what was to come. It's been the greatest learning experience in my music career so far because I've been exposed to great extremes that tested my ability to be the best orchestral player I could be. The community we have is so strong and I've met so many young, talented individuals in the orchestra who I'm proud to call my best friends. I think the biggest takeaway that I've learned is how incredibly, incredibly important it is to take risks. I was extremely timid and shy during my first year of the orchestra that my forte sounded like pianissimos. I doubted my ability to play anything. Being a first year in the orchestra was very overwhelming. I felt like there was no room for error because I had to reach a level of expectation that was way too high for me to get to at once. Over time, I managed to build up my confidence and self-esteem. I learned how to cope with my personal fears by taking risks and making a few mistakes along the way, even if that meant getting the stink eye every now and then. You'll never grow if you don't take risks. Uh, some advice I'd give to young musicians hoping to perform at an orchestral level is to listen. Listen to everything and anything. I know it's difficult right now with our given situation to go and attend an orchestral concert in person, but there are tons of phenomenal recordings of great orchestras on YouTube and any music streaming app. Make an effort to go and listen to live concerts when you can. Really immerse yourself and be familiar with the unique characteristics of orchestral playing. Listen to something you enjoy. Most importantly, imitate. We learn by imitation, first by listening, then doing. Listen to different orchestras play the same piece and make note of what you like or don't like about the way they played it. Play along with different recordings and try to blend and match their style. Listening, I think, is your greatest teacher. I think the arts provide an outlet and a way for people to express themselves. When I witness any art, I can sense the creativity, the hard work, and the passion behind the making of it, and that inspires me. The art of crafting something out of nothing is inspiring in itself. Art is created from a few materials and one's own imagination. I feel inspired when I hear the Canadian brass play because of how well they manage to showcase their phenomenal musicality. It inspires me to think outside the box, be more creative, and achieve that level of musicality as well. It fuels this passion inside of me to become a better musician, and I'm sure others feel the same way too. To center the arts, I think, means to put the arts at the same level of standard as math or science. I took a creativity course over the summer and we watched a TED talk called School Kills Creativity by the late Ken Robinson. In the video, Robinson talks about how the school system educates people out of their creative capacities. And as we grow older, we lose that sense of our childhood creativity. Our present day public education is outdated and only meets the needs of industrialism. It's a protracted process of university entrance, which causes many talented and creative people to think they're not good enough because the thing they were good enough at school was not valued. We need to value the arts just as much as we value math, and I think math is just as important as dance or drama or art or music. A world without creativity is a world without innovation. 
I think the future for our local arts community is looking bright here in Calgary. Sure, we may not have big art scenes like Toronto or Montreal, but I think especially our music and film scene here is extremely well connected. You mention one name to a group of musicians and it's almost guaranteed everyone knows who that person is. And I'm sure that applies to all the arts here too. Because of all these connections, you are guaranteed to run into amazing opportunities that will help you expand your network, your resume, and ultimately your career. I'm also a senior student at the Academy program here at Mount Royal Conservatory, which will be starting up again in October. Everything is sort of up in the air right now regarding COVID-19 and its restrictions, but I'm hoping to attend Domaine Forge in person this time in the summer of 2021. Today, I'll be playing the first two movements of Paul Hindemith's Sonata for tuba and piano and the first movement of the Vaughan Williams Tuba Concerto. I hope you enjoy.
Mm-hmm. <laughs> 